Today we're going to install a wiring harness on the Chevy Equinox. And my name is Rhonda. I'm from Katy, Texas. 746-044. You will need the tool seen here to complete this installation. We're going to go ahead and get started. Make sure you have your safety glasses. We're going to get our screwdriver and pop the caps out. You'll need a 10 millimeter ratchet and a flathead screwdriver. Just pop these out, set them aside. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take these screws out of here. Once you've got it loosened off with the ratchet, I like to just turn it and hang onto it and pull it on out. And do the same at the bottom. Then we're gonna go ahead and do the passenger side so we can have them both loose. We've already taken our little tabbies off. Again, all you do is just put the screwdriver in there and just pop it out. Again, you want to use your uh, ratchet. Once you've gotten it loose, you can kind of get in there and just unscrew it with your hand, pull it out. Make sure you set them aside so you don't lose any of them for the reinstall. While we're here on the passenger side, we're going to go ahead um, on the Chevy Equinox. You have to pull it straight out towards you. So you just want to tap it a couple times, kind of get it kind of loose, and then just stand over here at the sign, and you're going to just push forward. And it's going to come loose, and you'll be able to get to the wiring that you're going to need. Okay? And we're going to go ahead and disconnect and put the light aside. There's a little button right here. Just going to push on it, and it's going to slide right out. We're going to set this aside so nothing can happen to it. And we're going to come back onto the driver's side. Again, you're going to loosen it just a little bit. Pop, pop, pop. You'll see that it's come loose from the frame of the vehicle. You're going to come back here and you're just going to push, 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 and it's going to slide off. Okay? Again, you're going to turn your vehicle, turn it over, and unplug and put this aside. Okay. All right, so we're gonna take our connections and we're gonna hook it up. It has the nice connect, connect. So you're just gonna slide this in, make sure it pops. You hear the little click. I'm gonna lay that there a second. We're gonna run these lines straight down to the ground. Bye-bye. Get down here. And it's all just right here where you can just pull it down. Nice and neat. All right. And up underneath here, we can run it all the way across to the other side. See a little end here. Let's go ahead and pull it all the way through. Attachments. And your green line's gonna come to the other side and go up into the vehicle. Kind of want to center your uh, attachment that you're gonna use to that plugs into the actual trailer. Kind of want to have an idea. We're gonna put it on this side. It's always best on the driver's side. So we'll attach all this and we'll zip tie it all up, make it all nice and pretty, and put it in behind the hay shed of the vehicle. We're gonna take this line and we're gonna go in behind all these brackets that are back here. We're gonna run our line down from the top to the bottom and pull this up to the top. So we're gonna get our trusty little tool that we've been using to run our lines. Just gonna throw it down there real quick. It's gonna come out on the other end. We'll tape our little end on it nice and easy so that we can pull it up through. Just need enough to be able to pull it through. There's enough space on this vehicle that it won't have any problems coming up through the hole. You just want to put enough on there just so that it won't come. Just enough to get it up through there. You could almost stick your arm all the way up. But there it is. And again, you're just gonna plug in your end. 
nice and snug. Make sure it's good and connected. Ground. Let's get this grounded so that when we plug it in, that we'll have it working. Go ahead and get that self-tapping screw that they uh, supply for you. Drill bit that holds it in place for you real easy. Just get on here. Uh, you want to attach it to any metal, nice and secure. Make sure it's nice, not plastic, so that you know you have a good ground. secured and it's out of the way of any of the, the moving parts that you're fixing to put back into the vehicle. Now we have a line here. Just going to take your piece. It's got the push pin on it and you're going to plug it into the actual back of the light. Again you want to make sure you hear the little click so that you know that it's secured. Okay. Before we put this all back together, we're gonna to do a quick little light test and ensure that it's all working. I'm just gonna attach this really easy right there. I'm gonna attach this one real quick. We're gonna do our light test, make sure everything's working, and then we'll secure it. Again, you have your, it's all ready to be plugged into. Check your line, make sure all your tongs are there. Pull it on up. Make sure you hear the little click. Nice and secure, nice and secure. Okay, gonna tap it in here real easy. We're gonna do a light check real quick with our light tester. Just in case if there's any problems, we can go ahead and check and see if we did something. Before I do my securing of everything, I'm just going to do a quick turn on the hazards. Just check to make sure that we have power back here. And there you go. Everything's working. All right, so we're good there. Now we're just going to back up the vehicle, secure all our wiring. Um, we're going to put our lights back into place, put our bolts back in, make sure everything's nice and clean here. Then we'll secure the bottom. All right, so now that we've done our light test, we're gonna secure the two uh, taillights back in, and then we're gonna back the vehicle up so that we can secure our mounting bracket. Boom. And you'll hear a little click so you know that they're in, in place. And now it's nice and secure again. And so all you have to do is put your bolts back in. Inside here, there's two little plastic gaskets. So you do have to make sure that your hole lines up so that when you put your bolt in, you're gonna, it's a plastic uh, nut, so you wanna give it a little push so that you know that you've got it in there so that you can feel it, you'll feel it start. All right, we got it going now. And again, make sure your hole is lined up, plastic gasket, get in there. And I always like to do things hand tight before I put a ratchet or anything on it. just to ensure that you don't cross-thread anything. Right, let's get the other side real quick. Make sure I've got it all in there and secured. Again, you wanna make sure that your holes are lined up. Make sure it's in place. Make sure that you're all lined up on the outside, that you don't have a gap. If there's a gap, that means something's not all the way in and secured. Okay, so you wanna make sure that it's all the way back in and that it's snapped into place. You'll hear the little click, click, okay? Again, I like to use the everything hand tight. Line up your holes. You'll hear the little, you'll feel the little pressure as it's going in. All right, we got it. And we'll take the ratchet to it just to make sure that it's confirmed. Like I said, hand tight. We'll take our ratchet, just hit them once. To make sure that they're good and snug. And on the driver's side, just to make sure they're good and snug. Put your 
covers back on. Snap right back in, nice and clean. Right, now that we've secured our lights and made sure there's no gaps and we've got all our bolts back in and got our caps back on, we're finished with this part of it. We're gonna go ahead and close it, back it up so that we can secure our uh, wiring bracket. All right, now that we have the vehicle up in the air, all these loose wires and stuff that are hanging everywhere, there's a nice little bracket on both sides. We're gonna go ahead and come up underneath here and secure it so that we have the wire up out of the site and secure it so it's not gonna attach to anything. And there's a nice little bracket here. We're gonna zip tie it over here. We're gonna zip tie it over here on this side. So let's get started. And again, there's this nice little bracket back here that we can tighten it to, just so that it stays up out of the way and it doesn't show. Gives it a nice clean look. You also have to make sure that you left yourself enough line so that when you put your bracket on, that you have enough to be able to put your bracket on. All right, so let's do our bracket. On this one, we're gonna do it so that the bracket's gonna be on the top. Go ahead and mount that. Gonna take the piece. This way it'll have a nice clean look and it'll be flush in it up here instead of having it pushing up on the plastic. So it's gonna be nicer if it's down here. And we're gonna go ahead and set it up so that it's got a nice smooth flow. And these have self-tapping. So once they're on there, they, they, they have a, they'll tighten themselves as you turn the screw. So that's really nice. Right. Now that we have that tight, I'm gonna go ahead and run this up through. Bring it on down. Make sure you have this in the back. Get it as tight as you can. We're gonna lock it into place. All right, and so we have a, we can see that it's got a nice smooth, it looks clean underneath here. We've got our bracket here, it's nice and snug. We're just gonna turn it a few times with a little tool here, lock it into place. And it's gonna tighten it on there so that it won't come off. Now we can just take our snips and cut this end off. Okay. Give it another turn real quick. Now we'll be able to feed our line through. Put our little cover on. This, uh, this is a nice little protective cover. It's got a little slot in there so you can make sure that you put it on the right way. Slide that over here. Put it in there behind that. Stick this in here. And there's two little notches on here on the light itself. Once it's slid in here, it'll lock into place. pull it through nice and easy and it came through and now it's snug. Now you can put the cover on. All right, now that we're done with the wiring install for the Chevy Equinox, you're ready to be able to install a bike rack, a basket, or tow any small U-Haul trailer. To learn more about the product seen in this video or to schedule an installation by U-Haul Hitch Professional, Visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com.